Hello, this is Paul Evans of Finlay Evans Waterproofing and Liquid Rubber Melbourne. Just want to share with you a little bit of experience on a uh, waste containment tank that we did. This is a steel tank with a concrete base in it. It had a liner in it originally. Uh, the company decided that they wanted to put a updated aerator system in the bottom of the tank. To do that, they had to put all these all thread upstands in to support the equipment. Of course, with a liner in there, that was impossible. So the concept of using liquid rubber came, came to fruition because uh, it can be sprayed directly onto the steel skin of the tank and the concrete floor. This is the preparation here of polyurethane against every bolt hole holding the steel panels together and also around the uh, upstands themselves. This is the uh, central outlet and the white material around here is a geotech fabric which is a insulator for the old liner that was in there. This was very problematic to remove in such a short time space that we had to complete the work. So we were asked to actually impregnate the geotech fabric with the rubber and, and use that as the base. We went ahead and did that and it was quite successful. This is just a close up of the bolt heads with the polyurethane and the rubber sprayed over the top. This is the uh, preparation work on every uh, upstand and the central drain point and the expansion joint across the bottom of the slab. This is the spray application underway. This one here is another shot of the spray application and the prep work done. Further uh, shot of the spraying, also working up at the height. The twin head spray gun here. That's the uh, secret of uh, liquid rubber basically. Rubber comes out of one nozzle and a salt water comes out of the other which is a catalyst for it. This is just the dressing of the um, central waste point afterwards. There's liquid rubber sprayed over the geotech fabric causing the base. This is the aeration system over the top, the third party contractor here is setting it up and there it is basically finished. Uh, we just got to finish off the aerator aerator outlets um, but the rubber is all sprayed the base is sprayed and that's ready to go thanks for listening if you've got any questions about that uh, please don't hesitate give me a call or uh, contact me at www.waterproofingfew.com.au give us a call on that number there 8812 2918 happy to have a chat to you about it thanks for listening and bye for now